We begin with the race to slow down the spread of the Omicron variant. Here you can see people lining up for testing in Florida in scenes that are a reminder of the worst days of the pandemic. The new strain has been found in at least 38 states. And this is what it looks like in New York, too, where people are lining up, as you see there, Nate, where the daily positivity rate has doubled in three days. People are a little worried here. The CDC is pushing again for people, please get vaccinated, but it's no longer recommending the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine because of a link to rare blood clots. Meg Oliver reports on the concern that stretches all the way to the White House. For unvaccinated, we are looking at a winter of severe illness and death. Though reported Omicron cases have so far been mild, experts warn every precaution should be taken to prevent infection. If you have a lot of hospital workers, nurses and doctors and ICU staff calling in sick at home because they have symptomatic COVID, that's going to really tax an already strained health system. Across the country, many hospitals are already at a breaking point due to winter surges from the Delta variant. In Wisconsin, just over 4% of ICU beds are available. And in Nebraska, frontline workers are overwhelmed. I would just hope that no one else has to experience the things that we've been experiencing. Meanwhile, signs that Omicron is quickly spreading from coast to coast. New York City is now reporting 8,300 new cases a day, leading to long lines at testing centers and pushing some companies like Citibank to tell employees to work from home. The Omicron variant is here in New York City in full force. In Orlando, Florida, Omicron was found in nearly 100% of the wastewater samples taken this week, just one week after it was not detected at all. Dr. Anthony Fauci says there is good news. At this point, there is no need for a variant-specific booster. Our booster vaccine regimens work against Omicron. This as new data tracking the safety of the vaccines showed that nine deaths due to rare blood clotting have now been linked to the Johnson and Johnson shot and not just in younger women as originally thought. That information led the CDC to recommend the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines over J and J on Thursday. In response to the CDC's decision, reps for Johnson & Johnson say the company remains confident in the safety and durability of its vaccine, and it will collaborate with the CDC and global health officials to educate the public on the risks associated with it. Tony? Meg, thank you very much.